Come on in. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill, and I am here to show you the deal of the week. This is an amazing opportunity for a fantastic motorhome. Uh, if you're interested, please know this is a live uh, video on Facebook, and my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Uh, feel free to chime in with questions as we go through this little RV. Um, but I'm really excited to show you a uh, great opportunity for someone who wants to get out and go camping. Now, uh, due to the fact that we're online, we can't advertise the price, but I do encourage you to look that up. This is stock number 5U200917. Again, 5U200917. And this is a 2008 Atasca Latitude. And this is a really, really unique little RV. So let's start out from the back like we usually do. Jody, take her on back to the bedroom. So not only is this Latitude uh, value priced, it is full of uh, all sorts of goodies. Oh shoot, I left that little door open. Uh, first and foremost, really nice rear bedroom, a very spacious area back here uh, with a queen bed. As you'll note, we've got really nice bedding. Uh, you'll have to bring your own pillows, but they've got everything you need here for the matching set. And we have great overhead storage above the headboard. So really nice area up here. Um, and I love, I mean, these are solid wood cabinets. Uh, this little Latitude is a 2008, and this is a 39W. Uh, so this is a really, really nice um, layout. So big queen bed back here. And then I want to show you the closet space because it's really quite impressive. Now this is a mid-bath model, um, but it has so many nice features. And for someone who's looking to get out and go camping, uh, this is a really cool chassis as well. This is a Chevy uh, or a GM uh, Triton chassis. So this is the workhorse. Um, the workhorse is highly sought after. It's very unusual to find something that's not built on that Ford chassis. And this bad boy honestly has 455 foot pounds of torque and is a rear gas pusher. So that is so unusual. Oh, I just did this. Let me see if I can get this to open. There we go. Sorry about that. A little bit I was locked back there. But tons of closet space, lots of room, uh, not only for your clothes, but they've got this cool rod here, which keeps your hangers from sliding back and forth. And then a, a ton of room for shoes as well. And there is a little light up here. I just can't reach it because I'm vertically challenged. There we go. And there's some 110 outlets up here on the top right hand corner. So this RV has some stuff that'll really surprise you. Um, now, first and foremost, if you go down, Jody, and just show right here, you'll notice some valves. Well, what in the world could those be for on such a value-priced inventory piece? Those are for your washer and dryer, folks. Yeah, so not only do you have 39 feet of bliss, you've got a washer and dryer here. Now, this Slendeed is a two-in-one, so you've got wash and dry both. So nice and compact, very uh, useful uh, space. And then here's all of your fuses. And then, of course, this looks a lot like you'll see our traditional Itasca layout. Very nicely organized. Um, and this RV is really just awesome because how rare is it to find a gas pusher? This is an actual gas pusher. And then on top of it, you have storage here in uh, these cabinets underneath the bench. So you have a bench where you can actually sit down and uh, take your shoes on and off, get dressed in the morning. And like I said, this is a really big spacious bedroom with a ton of window space and really nice blinds. So this has honestly got a great residential feel. So this is a two slide unit with a mid bath, as I mentioned. And what's great about this bathroom, look at how nice this is. So when you come in here, great medicine cabinets. If you've got uh, folks traveling with you, this will, see, this will sleep up to six. Again, all solid cabinets throughout. Uh, it does come with this great little sign. I laughed so hard the tears ran down my legs. I haven't heard that before, but I did think that was quite funny. Not as funny as to make the tears run down my legs, but it was funny. Um, okay, so shower. Um, oh, shoot. Did I figure out how to open this one yet? I didn't. There we go. Oh, that's closed. Here's open. Very easy. So plenty of shower space. And just so you know, um, a lot of times when you get into an RV like this, they're not nearly as like well taken care of and clean as this little RV is. This is a really, really 
nice clean uh, little RV and for the money I mean this is going to be costing you less than a lot of cars would these days and would certainly cost you less than a lot of fifth wheels so what a great opportunity it does have a 5,000 pound, pound towing capacity so it would be a great option for uh, flat towing as well and there's just a ton of storage in this little RV um, so I really like this um, laminate and carpet throughout just so you know uh, there's a towel rack here they have these like little um, containers to put like magazines and such th all throughout the coach which I think is quite quaint so you get your little magazine rack and then of course a great place to keep you know all of your you know solutions for your toilet and your toilet paper bug spray you know suntan lotion all that stuff up here and then look at this this is so cool so this door goes out here into the galley so I really love this pass-through. Now we're not going to start on the galley quite yet because um, I want to come back into the hallway here and show you some more of the spectacular storage that you have available. So first of all, really nice uh, clearance here. So it's easy to make your bed. Uh, there's a great little nightstand over here on the left as well as some radio controls. I don't know if you want to catch those radio controls, but if you are hanging out in bed and you want to relax, listen to some tunes, watch TV, it's a great bedroom. But then look at this little storage area down below. This is so cool. So there's so many places to keep things like all of your socks and underwear. There's just lots and lots of drawer space. And this is very, very, um, you know, traditional with Atasca. You'll find they really were the height of RVing back in 08. Um, they did build probably the best product on the market, kind of the gold standard. And so even for an inexpensive entry offering like this in a gas coach, like I said, all solid wood, like really good cabinet construction, um, great closet space. So we not only had that big closet at the back, we have it, so that would be a hers, this would be the his, I think. But plenty of room, all carpet lines, so you're not going to get any rattles going down the road. The hinges are in all good working condition. And then here's one more entry point here as well. And that concludes uh, the bedroom area. But what a great, you know, amount of storage you have in this, in this little RV. Now, moving on to the galley, once again, really, really high quality construction. I had this open when you walked in, Jody. I, it's because I was just looking at it, but look at how nice these, this pantry is. Really nicely manufactured pantry, great design. And then of course you have your central vac down below here as well. And, oh, this is not central vac. Is this central vac? Par pardon my, that was my mistake. That is not a central vac component. But you do have outlets there, and I'll have to look into that. If anyone wants to, wants to know, I think that this is a CCI control is what it says. I think this has to do with um, some kind of uh, LP gas detection. And that's because you do have an electric and LP uh, refrigerator on this unit. So I apologize, that's what that was. And most of our Numars and our Winnebago's these days, that would be where you'd find your central vac. So apologize for taking that quick look. But it is an LP gas uh, detector, and that is because you do have an electric and LP uh, refrigerator here. And then again, some more amazing storage up above. Take a look at how deep that is. And then this is a great door cold refrigerator, honestly. So you've got four sections. And again, at this value price, you know, to open up a refrigerator, it smells clean like plastic. It doesn't smell yucky like mildew or anything gross. Um, whoever used this RV loved it. They took really, really good care of it. And I think that that's the most important thing. For somebody who's looking to get out and go camping, this is a great value. This is a huge opportunity. And this might make camping that you thought was uh, unaffordable, affordable. So uh, give us a call if you're interested in any information, of course. Um, here at TransWest, we do a video every day uh, at 1030 and, um, or 10 o'clock. It just depends on the sales associate. Typically, I will do a 1030 video. Um, but we don't oftentimes have anything that is this nice in this price point uh, to show you. So I'm really excited about this today. Now, Joe, if you don't mind, here's your control panel here. Now, the slide control for the bedroom is in the bedroom, but this is the slide control panel for 
the front galley here. And this is a big slide. This, uh, this slide right here, it's not a full wall slide, but it is a really big uh, slide. And again, this coach can sleep up to six. This is a convertible. This is a convertible. And then you have plenty of room to sit down, have a cup of coffee, have a nice meal with your family. And one of the things that we boast about in our industry is the big windows. And this RV has really big windows throughout. And all of these blinds are really nice. So if you did have the whole family with you and you needed some privacy, very easy to open close, screens as well. You've got a really nice insignia TV along with a nice central command unit right here. As you can see, um, everything is once again in really good working order. Look at all this cabinet space. Just so impressive. So you could keep all of your dishes up there very easily, fine china if you'd like, however you want to do that. Um, but there's so much room here. For everything that you might need. You might want to get an updated DVD player and get a Blu-ray, because that looks like it might have come with the RV from 2008. So it might be worth some money as a collectible. Uh, here's some more storage underneath here. It took me about 45 minutes to find all the little nooks and crannies in this coach. So if you'd like to come in and see them for yourself, you know, I came in kind of a, you know, a doubting Susan, if you would, because I was like, well, at this price point, it can't be really all that nice. But this is a really, really nice coach, and it has some pretty surprising specs on it as well. And I apologize, I typically know a little more offhand, um, but this is an 08, so I would had to print out my notes today. 340 horsepower, 455 foot-pounds of torque, 8.1 liter uh, GM workhorse chassis. Uh, that Vortec V8 gives you a lot, of, uh, a lot of torque coming from the back of the coach, which is really nice. Uh, but the dimensions, 39.25 inches, uh, width is 8.46, so actually a pretty narrow coach, 101 inches. Uh, the cool thing is height, 12.33. How do they do that? There's no air conditioning on the roof. It's actually in the bay below this RV. So this is a very unusual uh, a compartment bay uh, air conditioning unit on this Atasca. And honestly, I think it was a great idea. We've got a lot of clients that have a shorter uh, garage door. If you do, this would actually probably fit in your barn. Um, all that being said, you still have a 7.21 interior height. And look at this uh, ceiling. So Jody, I don't know if you can pan up, but it's really nice. It's clean. It's white. It's sparkly. Uh, this coach is really, really clean. Um, I know we already covered um, 5,000 pound towing capacity, GD, GVWR of 26,000 pounds. Uh, this coach also has 100 gallons of fuel capacity. And then this is where it really gets kind of cool. 92 gallons of fresh water, 72 gallons of gray water. Just so you know, 72 gallons of gray water takes out like the superstar's 60 gallon gray water tank on the Numar. You know, so you can go buy, you know, a $450,000, you know, class, you know, Super C by Numar and get less than this 72 gallons of gray water. Uh, the black water tank is 62 gallons. Um, so propane tank on here is 28 gallons. And uh, it is really, really nice. Again, we talked about this. It's a two slide unit. Um, it does have a carefree awnings that's throughout the back, so we'll, or around the outside. We'll take a look at those. And it also does have also another 19 foot long awning off of the door side here. So um, back to the galley. I know we've covered the refrigerator, but three burner stove. Down here, you've got your microwave oven. And you've got a little fan here, which is really nice. Kind of an old school effect. Spice rack already installed for you on both sides. And again, I apologize for not being as familiar with this unit as I am with some of the new ones that I do videos on, but we don't oftentimes get a chance to show a piece of inventory like this. This is just a great RV. And this really opens the segment up to people who might think they want something to get out on the road in, but they don't want to spend a lot of money. So really great opportunity for a super nice unit. Dual basin stainless steel sink. I mean, that's an ask on a lot of um, our new Mars that would be an upgrade. And then look at all this, look at all the storage under here. I just don't understand why we can't do this and some of the ones that we have that are new. I mean, you could put both of your kids in there. 
No, I'm just kidding. Don't put both of your kids in there. Just your husband. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that either. <laughs> oh, it's Friday, you guys. I'm having way too much fun. All right, so I love this. So look at how deep these doors are. These drawers are, and they're full extension. I mean, absolutely amazing. All the way through. And look at these cool little latches. So the, first of all, they're nice and sticky, right? So they don't come out easily. They, you know, you had to pull on them, but you get to, you can actually lock, you can lock them. And I don't know if that was part of the initial design of the model, or if that's something that the client installed after the fact. But regardless, it's just super, super cool. Look at the size. I mean, for pots and pans, this is like a dream come true. Um, so really, really like that a lot. Someone's gonna call me in and say, don't use your feet in the videos, Katie. I have to, I told Jody to make sure he got my toenails in the shot today because they're super, super cute. Um, so on that note, linoleum and carpet floor, so nice, nice mix here. These are just adorable little knickknack tables. Great place to keep your cocktail maybe while you're hanging out and reading a book in your full leather. This is a full leather couch or a recliner that you have here. Read all about that. More storage once again. Again, just on those nice blinds. Lots of ven ventilation. A little Coca Pella here hanging out. Co coat rack. Great place to hang your keys. They've got little hooks all over the place here. This was certainly a used coach. Here's another one of those little uh, magazine boxes that we talked about. Um, some bench storage again. Throughout the coach, you'll find this bench storage, which is really useful. And they've put like little hooks in here. It's really funny. Uh, the carpet is in great condition. And the cool thing is, is this carpet is actually very chic. If you were to build like a new house these days, this is definitely one of the carpet offerings they would offer you. Um, and then this one doesn't open. This one does. Let me see, is that one open? There we go. Yeah, so big, big space up here. Big storage space. And again, I, you know, I come across things like this and I go, why don't we do this? This is so cool. What a nice way to have a curtain across the front of your windows. Oh, there we go. And I don't know if you can get in on this, Jody, but what's really interesting too is a task that makes a little label so you know uh, what cabinet door you need if you needed to replace one. I find that quite fascinating. Very, very organized company. Not a wonder that they were always so successful. And in this cabinet, we have all of the books. Oh, let me open this one first so I can get there. There we go. So, I mean, just tons and tons of space. To be honest with you, you guys wanted to go buy a nice property somewhere up in the mountains and just hang out and live in an RV. This would be a really great little RV to move into. It has all of the residential space that people are looking for in these larger 45 foot coaches packed into a tiny little 39 foot wheelbase. So the, or 39 foot coach. So this is a really, really nice offering. Now it does have a six speed Allison transmission right here. Um, and then you've got, of course, nice traditional dash. And you don't see this dash very often because this is again, that workhorse. So, uh, you know, the GM uh, product is not as popular or uh, commonly found in the marketplace as you find the Ford chassis. So uh, this is kind of a cool thing to find a workhorse chassis. Another cool thing is 39,000 900, I'm sorry, 35,950 miles. Yeah, that's right, 30, 35,000 original miles on this RV. Um, all the same stuff, you know, fog lights, battery boost, brake control, power mirrors, uh, heated mirrors, uh, grade brake is gonna be that engine brake. Uh, you have, of course, uh, one of my favorite things, I love they did this like little aftermarket install of the thing to hold your cell phone. But I love, look at the fans. The fans are so cool. Um, I really am totally in love with those. Uh, generator start and stop. I am gonna turn this off for the rest of the video just so that we don't have that noise outside. Uh, but the good news is, is it fired right up uh, when I went to turn it on. And again, really nice flex steel uh, uh, chairs here. Um, more storage space. Um, if you look at this nicely labeled, leveler information, radio, window awnings, shade. I mean, whomever had this went to the trouble of actually labeling and making everything for you so that you could come into this motorhome and use it and take the same great care 
and have the same amount of fun that they had out there camping and on the road in this RV. I just think it's so, so cool. I mean, and very, very retro. So if you're a hipster, this has got your name all over it. What a great way to make it, you know, a, I would love to see uh, any videos of anyone traveling cross country in this little RV. Send them to us at, Fred, at Trans West and Frederick. We would absolutely put those online and attach them and do a storyboard because this is what camping is really all about, getting out there on the road. Okay, so we're gonna go outside now. And on the way out, we'll do, we do have our levelers right here, just so you know, so those are, those are a thing. And then, I know I already mentioned this, but we do have a Dometic awning up here above. And that's released right here, it is manual. And here's that workhorse custom chassis powered by Vortec 8100. And that's right next to our side marker camera, which is gonna give you the capacity to see to the left or the right of you when you're changing lanes. And you're gonna be blown away when you see how much storage is underneath this. So all of this is like this really cool plastic line cubbies. There is so much storage under this coach. Um, just really, really nice. Uh, these Yokohamas are in great condition, as you can see. Really, really nice radials. This, this RV is definitely standing tall for being a 2008. Oh, here we go. Let me open this back up. And we'll close this. Step folds right in like you'd expect. Look at the size of these bays. This is so impressive. And then online it said it had uh, a single awning. So I'm assuming that this second Dometic awning is an additional upgrade. So we do have a second awning here. And it appears to me we also have a carefree package on the other side. So I'll show you that as well. So more storage underneath. I mean, you can fit all of your paddle boards, all of your fly fishing gear. You can fit your little uh, Outlander propane uh, fire pit underneath here very easily. You can get those big black bins with yellow tops from Costco. Keep your, you know, Weber barbecue out here. Here's that, here's that uh, propane tank I think we mentioned. This one has, again, a 28-gallon capacity. So tons of propane. Uh, there's solar on this unit. Um, if you're interested in knowing the solar capacity, I didn't have a chance to look it up. Uh, when I came in, I noticed that it did have uh, that control panel on the board, though. So if you just send a question to me, text me your you know, contact information, whatever it is, and notes under, under, under our comment section, and I can get that back to you. Um, but, you know, just really ahead of its time. And these are going to be, of course, our chassis batteries. And all of these doors open and close really easily. So you'll notice, again, we have this rear radiator because, again, this is a gas pusher, which is so unique. Uh, there is a ladder extension in the front compartment. It goes right here, so you can get onto the top. There is a rear view backup camera as well. You also do have a 5,000 pound hitch rating. Another re uh, radiator back here, easy access to check your oil as well. Uh, but this is a really, really nice uh, Atasca in great condition, especially at this price point. And being a 2008, I mean, what a great spend of money. You could either buy eight of these or one RV. I mean, however you want to do it. <laughs> or you could just buy one of these and save a lot of money. So here's our um, power packet here. So again, this is our 50 amp cord all of our controls. I'm assuming that these fans are for the air conditioning. Uh, Dean told me that the AC uh, fan might be on the other side, but either way, air conditioning is not on top of this unit. It is underneath in a bay. Here's your water bay. Of course, we do have a whole house water filter. Really nice, big open compartment. Again, this has absolutely huge uh, capacity. Um, so really, really nice to have 72 gallons of gray water. I just keep going back to that because that's like, you know, the, the Verona, Ellie, the Verona, the Renegades, all of those have 75 gallon gray water capacities. That is such an, a huge, big, a huge deal, huge selling point for people. So 
Um, just a really nice RV that you could really get out and stay on the road for a long time in. And this, this, this compartment goes through into the next bay, so this is probably where you keep your fly fishing rods, golf clubs, anything along those lines. And I'll show you the other access point to this bay is right here. Look at how much storage you have underneath here, all the way through. I mean, that is just really quite amazing. I know, when's it going to end? When am I going to stop showing you storage capacity? So just so you understand, these three doors consecutively all bleed through underneath to have a whole, that whole cavity is connected. So tons and tons of storage there. And then last but not least, another breaker panel, very easily accessible. And as you can see, whomever it was that had this coach before just took such good care of it. Really, really nice condition. Um, of course, another camera here. Again, I heated power mirrors. Uh, today we've been looking again at stock number 5U200-917. Again, 5U200-917. This is an Atasca Latitude 39W. This is a great bargain. Um, a really nice coach at any price, but at this price it's even better. Uh, give me a call. Let me take you on a test drive. Let me show you why you should take this camping. Again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My number is 303. 5628659 again 3035628659 thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you on monday at 10:30 signing off